what is happiness? For me, it's seeing the movie, seeing a bit of harmony in theaters, and making a spoiler-free review on it. Also cash. I like cash. If you have cash, please send it to me. Hello everyone, hopefully an okay editor 357 here, and for today's video I will be doing a quick spoiler free review of the anime film directed by Yasuhiro Yoshiura, and I am so sorry if I butchered that name, Seen a Bit of Harmony. Seen a Bit of Harmony is seen, or saw depending on when I got this uploaded, a limited theatrical release in theaters from January 23rd to the 26th. The only other film by Yoshiura I had seen before this movie was Patma Inverted, which I think was a pretty good movie. I think the animation and cinematography was amazing, but I think the story and world of Patma Inverted felt a little rushed. I would have really liked to have seen the story as a full-fledged series to expand the world and story of Patma Inverted, but in the end I still had a fun time with it. So does this film fall into similar pitfalls as Patma Inverted, or is the story, characters, and world of seen a bit of harmony satisfyingly developed during the 1 hour and 49 minute runtime? That is what I'll be talking about in this review. Seen a bit of Harmony's main character is Satomi Amano, a loner at Kaibu High School. Her high school days become much more eventful when a new student by the name of Shion Ashimori arrives in her class and becomes obsessed with making sure Satomi is happy. The catch? Oh, nothing much. Just that Shion is actually an AI that is posing as a high school student, as a final part of its testing phase to see how intelligent this AI has become as well as how well it can integrate into human society. Basically, the test is to see if anyone who doesn't already know she is an AI can tell that she is. Or if nothing else, that she is not a normal person, since I doubt that most people's reactions upon seeing an unusual person is, you know, that's probably an AI. I don't know, maybe that's how high school students work these days. The way Shion tries to bring Satomi happiness is by trying to have her form bonds with some of her fellow classmates, as well as singing Disney-like music to her from time to time. And from here on, the story revolves around Satomi trying to keep Shion's secret of being an AI a secret, while also being dragged into her shenanigans which causes her to become closer with the other characters around her. The characters around her are also becoming involved in Shion's meddling and having their personal issues and relationships with one another put through the arena via Shion's unique way of handling situations. The reason it's personally important for Satomi to keep Shion's identity as an AI a secret is because her mother is one of the people who worked on her, and the one who would stand to lose the most if this test involving Shion isn't successful. Also, there's the lingering question of just why does Shion care so much about Satomi and her happiness? To talk about the plot in detail any further would be spoiler territory, so I'll end my scatterbrained summary here. To talk about the story as a whole, I loved it. Seen a bit of Harmony takes on the hefty task of asking the question, what is happiness, within its narrative. And thankfully, instead of coming up with some predictable answer to this question asked oh so often in media, it very quickly realizes that happiness is different for each person, something one of the main characters says not too far into the movie. So the movie story doesn't try to tackle the question of what is happiness head on and end up with a clunky answer. Rather, it opts to show what happiness is for this cast of characters through their interactions with Xion. Each of the core four, I'd say, main characters aside from Satomi and Shion have their own emotional baggage, insecurities, or personal trials they have to face throughout the film. Through Shion's interactions and unique, to say the least, meddling with the characters, they each undergo really well done miniature character arcs that not only help them better understand themselves, but also understand each other and grow closer to one another. Some of the characters can come off as a little tropey at first, but underneath that initial impression there is some really well done character writing for all sorts of different emotional and personal problems that no doubt any number of viewers can find themselves relating to or remembering a time in their life when they went through something similar. The standout of the sidecast for me out of the four characters aside from Satomi and Shion were easily Aya and Gochan. At first they seemed like such one note characters who would serve like one function before becoming irrelevant, but the writing for these two characters, their character arcs, and their relationship with one another was honestly one of the most beautiful parts of the movie for me. I love it when a story can subvert my expectations like that. I also gotta give a shout out to my boy Thunder, he is the best and an absolute treat to watch. Next up we have the two center characters of Satomi and Shion. Satomi, I don't want to get too in depth into her character arc because I don't want to spoil the movie, but she is a fantastic character. First of all, she plays off Xion so well, Xion being ready to dive headfirst into absurdity if she thinks it'll make Satomi happy, and Satomi just doing her absolute best to keep some sense of normalcy to her high school life with Xion. Seeing Satomi give her all just to try and keep up with Xion or stop her from doing who knows what made for some amazing comedy that had the whole theater I was in laughing. Either that or the voices in my head are getting louder. The shenanigans they get into just keep getting better and better as more characters are involved too. But to talk about Satomi from a serious standpoint, 
The writing for her and her character arc as she goes through these hectic days with Xion and the other characters is honestly amazing to watch. I found myself really relating to certain aspects of Satomi's character, and while it's nothing that hasn't been seen before in anime, it's all portrayed with a real earnestness thanks to how the story continues to unfold towards the end, and the relationship Satomi forms with Xion throughout the film. Speaking of Xion, man I love Xion. Both Sonazaki and Ashimori, Xion from the start is just an absolute delight to watch, having a childlike innocence and enthusiasm for whatever scheme to make Satomi happy she sets her mind to. The crazy scenarios she gets the main cast into and her weird but lovable interactions with everyone never gets old. And I just want to say her voice actress was amazing. She portrays this AI character with such charm and her singing is beautiful. We're on the singing later though. For as wacky and just plain fun to watch as Xion is, there is a depth to her character as well. First of all, why does she care that Satomi is happy or not and why does she act the way she does, belting into Son or doing any number of weird things with such determination to achieve her goal of making Satomi happy? These questions are addressed and answered in the film and let me just say it was so good. All the mysteries surrounding Xion as a character came full circle in a satisfying way that makes me want to rewatch the film so I can see this side of her from the very beginning. Putting the mystery of Xion aside, even before that stuff comes full circle, there is some serious character growth on her end. Through her interactions with Satomi and the rest of the characters, she gains a better understanding of emotions and what it is to be human. She uses this newfound knowledge of emotions and humanity to help the characters work through their emotional baggage and achieve their own happiness. Seeing an AI character become more aware of what it is to be human is not new in stories by any means, but the way this film goes about it, it just makes it so unique. This isn't simply an AI evolving to become more human, this is an AI with a mission, to make Satomi happy. And it's only through this goal does she better understand emotions and happiness and the complexity of both of these things. But in doing this, she's able to help the people around her and Satomi. It's a beautiful character growth, and her relationship with Satomi and how things progress during the final acts of the movie is just perfect. One thing I want to discuss briefly before moving on to the music is the charm of the details in seeing a bit of Harmony's world. AI is a rising technology being used for more and more aspects of everyday life in this world, and something this film does so well is make each of these different AIs feel so alive. From the changing facial expressions to a robotic trash can, to the clunky movements and awkward face design of a judo practice robot, to the human sounding voice of an AI integrated into a character's house, each AI feels unique and like its own character with their own quirky characteristics. It honestly makes me wish this was a series instead just so I could see more of the various AI of this world. Their designs are also simple but charming and I appreciate the effort putting into fleshing out the various AI in this film's setting as opposed to going for a generic robot look for all of them. It's taken me a while to get to this part, but the musical numbers. Naturally, if you've seen the trailer or know anything about seeing a bit of Harmony, you probably know it's a musical. Kinda. I don't know what actually defines a movie as a musical, but the musical numbers play a big role in the story and are decently spread throughout the film, so I'm just going to call it that. I apologize if that's technically wrong, but since it's the first time I've seen an anime musical like this, I don't really mind calling it one. And I'm honestly surprised that the medium of anime hasn't been used for musicals more, at least to my knowledge. If any of you watching know of any anime musicals that do exist, please tell me in the comments below because I think the idea is genius. Musicals rely on interesting set pieces and choreography, along with great songs, naturally to make their musical numbers stand out, and with how much can be achieved in the world of animation, it only makes sense to make an anime musical. There are endless possibilities for amazing set pieces and choreography, and I'm happy to say seeing a bit of harmony takes full advantage of that. While the animation for the movie as a whole is pretty good, the animation for the musical numbers is where this movie shines the brightest. There is a brilliant use of the freedom that the medium of animation brings in terms of character movements and choreography, as well as the ability to make even mundane settings like a high school hallway turn into magic feeling set pieces that Seen a Bit of Harmony capitalizes on. The character movements and choreography are all so smooth and in sync with the music. The camera angles and lighting make every setting for the musical numbers pop, and the songs themselves are brilliant too. The songs naturally relate to whatever is happening in the story currently, and you have a good variety of songs ranging from upbeat and whimsical, heavy and emotional, to even jazzy at times. You have a solid selection of songs and at least one of these, if not all of them, is bound to resonate with you and get stuck in your head. And the voice actress for Xion, her singing and range is amazing in the movie. I saw the Japanese version with English subtitles, but from the clips and trailers of the English dub that I've heard, all the voices sound really spot on and the singing sounded really good too. I hope this movie comes to Blu-ray soon because I really do want to hear all these great songs in English, especially my personal favorite of the bunch, Lead Your Partner. Every musical number, and I hate how corny this sounds, but they felt magical. It reminded me what I love so much about not just the medium of anime, but musicals as well. I wouldn't say I'm super into musicals or Broadway related stuff, but the few I have had the pleasure experiencing were amazing experiences, and it made me want to learn how to dance so I could be in a musical myself. But then I remembered I have all the balance and coordination of… 
while someone who has little to no balance or coordination. I hope I'm doing an okay job of explaining how great the musical numbers are and why I love them so much. Talking about music and animation is not exactly my strongest suit, I'm much better at analyzing the story aspect of any given media, but I really do want to convey the wonder and dazzling spectacle of seeing a bit of Harmony's musical numbers. During the first big musical number, I was getting emotional and tearing up just because of how amazing I found the whole thing to be. I was overwhelmed and in awe of the creativity and soul that this film and its musical numbers exuded. I feel like I might just be repeating myself if I go on any further, but basically, seeing a bit of harmony has amazing musical numbers both song and presentation wise that match the tone of the story as it progresses wonderfully. It makes this film stand out from so many other anime movies in my opinion and is reason enough alone to see it. I would really love to see more anime movies in this musical style. Imagine the sort of musical number studios like Ufotable or Studio Mappa could pull off as a very exciting thought. Basically, I want Attack on Titan to end with a musical number. Sue me. So overall, Seen a Bit of Harmony has a great and compelling story to tell, and a unique and beautiful way to tell it. It asks the question, what is happiness, but rather trying to clunkily answer this question, the film opts to show a varied cast of characters as they go through their own personal trials and gain happiness thanks to the help of Shion. The films show these characters become better versions of themselves and grow closer to one another. Showing that happiness comes in many different forms and to embrace what makes each and every one of us as humans unique and different. I'm also going to steal from Whittlebusters, which I am currently reading through and it is fantastic so far, and say this film shows the beauty of Komari's spiral of happiness theory. Basically, this film knows happiness is different for each person, but there is one universal thing that can bring joy to one's life, making other people happy. When you help your friend with something, and they're happy thanks to your help, you become just a little bit happier yourself, take a shot every time I say happiness. Helping other people out and bringing them happiness is a feeling unlike any other. And I'm not saying to go help people just so you can feel good, but there's no denying that knowing the people you surround yourself with are happy, thanks to you helping them out or even just being there for them, that brings its own happiness into your life. Then Komari's spiral of happiness theory basically says then if you're happy, then the people around you are happy, which then makes you happy, and so on and so forth, which is her theory, the spiral of happiness. And as childish and simplistic as that may sound describing it, I think that is a very true and beautiful thing. Everyone's different, but I know the times I've been able to help my friends in any way, shape, or form, I felt happy myself as I saw their happiness too. Life is unbearably tough to go through at times, and receiving help and support from those around you can really bring great comfort and happiness. And honestly, I feel like I'm just going to start repeating myself again if I go on for too much longer. So to wrap up what turned into a mini philosophy class, life is tough, everyone goes through these tough times, and being there for the people around you and being able to help them, that brings about happiness universally. And I think this film explores that concept really wonderfully without outright saying that. And I really like it when a movie's themes or beliefs aren't outright stated or explained, but rather inferred through the story and characters. And that's why I love seeing a bit of harmony so much. It never tries to boldly say happiness is one objective thing, but rather show the viewers various forms of happiness along with this spiral of happiness theory that I mentioned earlier. It also lets the viewers come to their own conclusions about the film's story and themes, which again, I really like. I think it allows for so many people to take away so many different things from this movie, and yeah, I've definitely entered the rambling territory with this review, but I don't care. When a film really speaks to me so much or just does something so well, I feel the need to endlessly talk about it. And I think that means it did something really right. Anyways, also play Little Busters because it's a really good visual novel. Before I wrap up this review, allow me to briefly talk about the animation and soundtrack, and I promise I'll be brief this time. The animation for the movie overall is really good, though I would never call it amazing or beautiful save for a few select scenes and of course the musical numbers. If nothing else, it is consistently good, the backgrounds are nicely detailed, character movements are smooth, and I like all the character designs as well. And the soundtrack to the entire film is fantastic. Aside from the previously mentioned musical numbers, this film has a great selection of background music that fits the varying emotional tones of seeing a bit of Harmony's story, and they all have that same charm and heart as the musical number songs do. A few of them actually sounded so good and like they were going to lead into a musical number, and I was disappointed when they didn't. Some of the tracks are more upbeat and comedic in tone for scenes where Shion is just doing her thing. Then you have tracks that feel grand and epic for some of the most impactful moments in the film's story, and then you have heavier and more emotional sounding tracks for all the emotional and serious moments in the film. If it's not obvious by now, describing music beyond, it was good, I liked it. Isn't my strongest suit, but you have a great variety of tracks that are just as catchy and memorable as the full-fledged musical numbers. I really hope we get a release of Seen a Bit of Harmony's soundtrack, because I definitely want to be able to listen to all this great music again. In conclusion, Seen a Bit of Harmony is a unique film that tackles the often asked question of what is happiness, but manages to do so in a clever way through its well-written characters and their character arcs, revolving around their own happiness and beautifully demonstrating the spiral of happiness theory I mentioned earlier. Instead of outright stating its own themes and beliefs like so many anime or really most media in general does, 
Seen a bit of harmony opts to show, don't tell, and let the viewers come to their own conclusions about what is happiness through the film's emotionally impactful story and characters, and it does so well. Part of that with consistently good animation, absolutely amazing and catching musical numbers, great voice acting for the entire cast, and great background music as well, and you have one of my favorite films of this year. Yes, I know the year has only just started, so that is a very premature thing to say, but I could seriously still see this being one of, if not my favorite anime movie releases of this year by the end of it. It's just so unique, has so much heart, and reminds me of everything I love about anime and even musicals as a whole. My only complaint, and I know this is going to sound stupid, is that it ended. I really wish that this was a full-fledged anime series, not because the story, characters, or world feel rushed or unsatisfyingly developed. Every aspect of the story and characters are really well developed, and the length of the film was perfect for the story being told. I just really miss these characters. I would have loved to have seen more interactions between them. More crazy hijinks that start because of Xion. More creative and memorable songs and musical numbers. The idea of having a full series worth of what Seen a Bit of Harmony has to offer is just a really fun one. But I am still extremely grateful for what we did get, and that is why I rate Seen a Bit of Harmony a 9.5 out of 10. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me down below in the comments what you thought of my review, and if you had the chance to see Seen a Bit of Harmony, what you thought of the film as well. When an anime has as much of an impact on me as Seen a Bit of Harmony does, I could talk about it forever. So discussing it in the comments with everyone sounds like a great time. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share, and if you would like to see more content from me, which is primarily visual novel reviews and anime related content, please consider subscribing to my channel and checking out some of my other videos. Thank you to everyone so much for watching this video, and until the next one, see you guys.